Hey guys, so I tried to record this live, however, YouTube wouldn't allow me to share my screen, but I just wanted to show you what I just got uh, in an email just a few moments ago from one of my friends and it's Envision Studio. And this video is gonna be a quick walkthrough and kind of like a first look at the early access of Envision Studio. As you can see, I have a uh, a note that it's actually pre version one so this is kind of like an open beta and this is a launcher window uh, basically the icon down below as you can see is Envision Studio it's uh, kind of that uh, Envision magenta with S and, 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 and a full stop so you can, it's quite similar a bit dark compared to what Sketch things are you can learn studio you can get support give feedback quite nice mouse or animations you get some sort of tutorials and you can also open directly a sketch file it seems um, but let's presume that I just want to create an iPhone X design boom brings it on right away we have artboard let's see what we can do with it our board let's say test landing page now just so you know I'm, I'm gonna be a bit lost here because we never been here before what's that home thing for that's visible and visible home hmm. okay search you can go back you can add pages fancy quite interesting way to structure information I guess you can also have some sort of libraries I wonder what's that about hey nope nothing is wrong. so I guess you could save libraries and then bring it up I guess for styling we have some um, zoom okay that's probably where the creation comes in so let's say this is our banner one uh, let's give it a fill of Okay, that's quite familiar, so have gradients. It's quite similar to what Sketch would have. Uh, I wonder if there are any other options. Sliders, global colors, right, and opacity, multiple fills. You can add the stroke, shadows, inner shadows, interactions, I guess what's most outstanding here. Um, but just go going back to toolbar, I'm just gonna fly through, I think, because it's quite exciting and it's quite new i already see a few bits which are okay that open support and vision that's interesting placement for that i guess you want to capture as much feedback as possible that's why it's so obvious and so present you can of course create rounded rectangles ovals pen tool text tool image i guess it creates a placeholder that's right Let's see what that does. Okay, where did it go? Right, I can't even see it. Okay, well, no more image. Um, and last one, as I guess, oh, that's artboard tool. As you can see, it creates quite a few artboards. Let me make it full screen, actually. Why the hell not? Um, Let's see what, what else we can do. Edit it. Why is it edited? Okay, let's try to save really quickly on a desktop. Testing studio dot studio. Right, and I guess if you make a change when it shows you that you actually made some change. Let's add. Um, hello world. Imagine that this is our oh, that's interesting don't really understand what's this about it's a bit confusing i guess let's just center it uh, okay okay guys they're working at least that and text functions that's quiet quite good I guess because it's all clear I just yeah finally I just couldn't find 
where our size is at. So I guess you need to get used to it a little bit at least. Ariel. Okay, all of our fonts work too. This is great. However, I don't really understand what's this about, but I guess this is a responsive thing. I'm not really sure yet. I guess maybe, yeah, it adapts. So those things are actually what makes it stick, I guess, if, if you need to make it responsive. Now, that's my wild guess. It might not be, but I guess this is the st stickiness and kind of making the objects more responsive. And as you can see, you have a pin too, which I guess makes it st either this or something else sticky. I'm not sure. We'll need to investigate on that maybe a bit later, not to waste your time. Um, if you would like to find out something specific, just leave the comments below. I guess we can reach out. And as you can see, the contextual menu on top changes depending on the object. So this one, if I select the background, it allows me to cut and edit. I don't understand how it works yet. Um, Oh, okay, so it's just like a removal tool. Let's go back. And I saw we have some sort of point editing capabilities. So that's great. Let's go back a bit clunky for, um, not really sure how to go out of here. Uh, okay, now we're out. So I guess, okay, the shape editing tools where we can comp compound different shades, exclude them, so forth. What is this? Create a component, interesting. So I guess that's kind of like symbol. So let's imagine that the header is our component. Yeah, so that's a symbol-ish, I guess. What happens if we copy paste? Right, so I made a bit too many. And what happens if I edit just one of them? Right, so it's kind of like a group of sorts, but you still can create group. Okay, this is something to investigate. But, okay, let's see what other options there are. I guess maybe if we replicate Copy style, is there anything to copy style only? Is there anything to copy the actual board? Okay, duplication is possible. Let's call that state two for the sake of it. And let's see, maybe we can start playing with animations. So that on top is no longer actionable. Hmm, interesting. Oh, so what's inside cannot be actionable anymore. But Bolt is probably for interactions. Um, but if I would go and make that whole block actionable and say that, okay. So that adds a bit of a difference on click, on hold, double click, mouse down, and we have tabs as well. Mouse over, let's say click. Um, transition is present or motion. What about motion? Is present is just instant fade in. Okay, so this is kind of like what Envision has right now, which is, you know, the typical one instant fade in slides, things of that nature. I like the motion bit because that sounds more like what principle would do. So let's say it's eight. There is a delay of a bit. And you can also add a timeline. Which is pretty good, but I'm not really ready for that yet. Uh, can I go back somehow? Let's see if it does anything. It doesn't do anything. Hmm. Might need to read a manual, hey? Eh? Okay, so motion again. Save. Does it change the state? No, this is 
it's a bit confusing. I don't even know how to go back from here. Hello? <laughs> okay, so it's different windows. So it opens. Okay, so I guess full screen mode doesn't really make sense anymore. But what happens if, let's say, that is bigger? Would it act like principal app where it would just automatically resize the bits? Let's find out. So let's see if that just expands and the text goes here. Would that, is that gonna work? Uh, sort of. Okay, so there was delay, that's, that's my bad. So I guess if the user would tap on it or click on it, then sort of would bounce in. So you need to specify two states. Hmm. Don't know if this makes much sense though. Well, let's maybe try to duplicate again and see if we can do something else, like maybe changing color to darker. Because that's what I was hoping for, for this thing, that it would just motion, let's see, default. And it would work sort of like principal app. Hmm, I'm still not sure if it just replaces two different states, like Axure would do. Or is it, does it actually do any fades in and, and just connects the objects? Um, okay, let me remove that. Let's have a clean slate and test it again to know for sure. All right, we have one of those pre-selected, a random block, and then we're gonna have some text. Hello world, what's up? Then we can have, let's say, another artboard. And in this case, it's gonna go like this. Whew, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? On click, motion. Maybe we need to edit a timeline. I guess this is quite similar to what... Huh. Okay, so I guess maybe we could... So let's say we go with a timeline right here. How would you add? Don't really understand this yet. How would you... So there is no... Huh? Right, okay, let's go back. So it does something, but I, I still don't understand how this works. So that's the... Right, so it does go from one bit to the other. From one artboard to the other artboard. And you can see how custom it should be. Wow, okay, I, I think I, I slowly get it now. So basically, you have two different R boards with the same exact thing, and they're named the same, just like principal would do. And then you specify how long it should be, and then it just loops it in. But makes it really long. I, I, the timeline here is a bit confusing, but I guess I still... 2.2 seconds... I understand that it just expands that automatically because they remain the same. Let's try that on here. Whoop! Fantastic! Right, so that's, that's the thing. Let's try doing something else. Hello world! In big letters! We also push it down to the here and maybe add something else here and let's see how that goes. 
Fantastic. So it does work. It does damn work. It does work like principle. Perhaps this is the answer then. Um, what else can, can we explore right now? So, okay, this is the actions. I'll need to investigate how the hell the animations work because it's a bit confusing. But, hey, I mean, the motion is now clear. You just need to figure out how the timeline works and everything else should be all right. Um, let's see, let's imagine that this is the app we're going for. And then I guess we can export it to Envision. Pair device, connect your phone, computer, blah, 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 yada, yada, not today. Prototype name, let's call it testing this. All right, person. Let's try publishing it. Let's see if maybe it's limited for a beta. Boom, no, it works. How does that work? Um, this is quite damn exciting. I'm damn Envision. You did pretty well. Does it work though in the export? Don't know. Doesn't really want to do what what it's supposed to do. Oh, it does. Okay. So it took a little bit of time. I don't know what's with the text and rendering. Maybe it's a, a beta thing. Try again. <clears throat> okay, so it just reloaded a different state. Can we see the code? Ah, so we're diving into Zeppelin mode a little bit. I guess that's pretty good because developers can pick all those different layers up and see that's a text. Give me the code. The CSS and information. This is superb. Now I guess Envision is actually doing something really good this time. Um, I was waiting for the answer to principle, sketch, Zeppelin, you name it, and this seems like a real competitor. Um, don't know if there is anything else to explore. Of course there is, but the basics are here. I mean, this is it can just animate one state to state. Now what matters is just bringing a really good design in and start rapidly prototyping, which is, I guess there are some interaction bits here where I don't know how to deselect it. Hello? <laughs> no, it doesn't work. All right, let's see, text. Seems really simple, I like that. I really, really do like that. This is something we needed for a long time. And what does export do? So interactions, you can just select an object and do what we did before and set where you nav navigate to. So I guess it happens from state to state, like principle does, just aligning different objects with the same name. And what does export? Brilliant, it's just exactly what sketch do apart from less extensions kaboom right guys so this is the first look into in st studio by envision i hope you liked it and i hope it gets you excited if so give a like share with your friends subscribe show some other ux interaction and ui designers get their opinion we need to get some buzz about this so that envision keeps on improving and providing us with a product which you are actually all of us use and are proud of so um so far so good kudos to envision for doing this and providing with you know the software which actually out of the box seemed to do what it's supposed to do and what i was excited about and really like the dark ui which stands out from a competition well as well as the value case of course so thanks again and uh thanks for watching